Hi guys, today I'm doing a video from a suggestion from one of my friends here on YouTube. Young fella goes by the name of Christopher Walker. and He's been watching my videos pretty regularly and he comments quite a bit. He's a big supporter. And Chris, I just want you to know that I really appreciate, you know, supporting my channel and watching my videos. He wanted me to go through and pick out some titles from my collection that I thought were Criterion Collection worthy. Movies that I have that I would like to see released on Criterion, basically. So I did pick out about uh, seven or eight titles. I'm going to go through really quick. Some of these films I really enjoy. And some of them are kind of sleepers. You know, some that uh, came out um, kind of flew under the radar. Um, and some came out and just didn't reach their full potential as far as uh, audience, target audience and stuff like that. So this first one here is um, Big Fish, and this is a film by Tim Burton. It's an adventure style film. Just kind of give you guys a little overview here. I think this was Matthew McRory's last film. There's a tagline over here that says it's a modern day Wizard of Oz. I don't know about that, but it is a very fun adventure style film. Who put this one out? Um, this was put out by Columbia. I would not mind seeing this one get a nice deluxe Criterion Collection release. Either a digipack with a nice big box and maybe a book. Or the uh, clear case with a thick booklet would be, would be nice too. It would be nice to see this one some criterion respect. So the first one is Big Fish. The second one, for some reason a lot of people hate this movie. I don't know why. This is kind of a love it or hate it movie, I guess. I love this film. I just don't see why it gets so much crap that it does, but um, I think this would be a fantastic criterion collection. I just love the snowy setting and the, um, the chilly elements that they have to deal with. First with the plane crash and then with the wolves. Um, yeah, this would be, I think this would be a perfect Criterion Collection film. And keep in mind, these are all my opinions, so I'd like to hear some of your, your guys' lists, you know. Let me know which movies you think you would like to see on Criterion. There's no right or wrong answer, it's just your opinion, so it doesn't hurt to throw your hat in the ring and throw a couple titles out there. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo. And again, this would probably probably look good on a uh, a, a digi pack from Criterion. Maybe give us a Blu-ray DVD combo pack again, and a nice thick book. Packaging is everything, man. When it comes to uh, collecting films, you want to get the best packaging and the best uh, content. Throw us in a nice thick book and. The next movie that I would love to see on Criterion is a movie called White Squall. A thrilling adventure it takes place on the sea, and it's about uh, Jeff Bridges is kind of a um, he's the ship's captain, but he's kind of trying to teach these young school-aged kids uh, how to work together. They're in, at the end of their summer; they're getting ready to go to school, and they're going to take the boat out. This is a yearly thing that they have for this private school, and um, once the uh, the journey begins. There's some bickering and arguing amongst amongst the kids, and um, he's trying to bring this crew together as one unit. And there are some. Uh, it's not a comedy, though. There are some uh, comedy elements in the film. There's a lot of drama. You know, it's kind of a um, it's kind of a jumbo uh, jumbo bag. You know, you got a lot. You got some laughter. You got some uh, sad parts. You got some thrills, and you know there's a storm that they have to um, try to make it through, and uh, yeah, there's some, there's even some tearjerker moments that you'll have to uh, check out in this film. I'm not going to give any, anything else away. I think I'm saying too much already. I took my muscle relaxers, and I'm having a hard time talking, and then I think I'm talking too much on top of it. So there's the disc art, and then you can see a still from the uh, film. They're having a little bit of um, 
I'll just say they were having a little bit of boat problems and we'll just leave it at that. This is a good movie. This was a blind buy for me. I I had seen this several years ago, but when I did watch it for the first time, I had never heard of it or saw it. And that was on DVD several years ago. I, then I saw this at Target. I think it was only like three or four bucks when Target has their sales. I snatched this one up uh, remembering it and then I watched it with my kids and I thought this was a great movie. They have that one kid in here, um, Ryan Philippi, who I, I can't really stand that guy, honestly. Uh, he was uh, Reese Witherspoon's husband for a while, Ryan Philippi. But he actually played a fantastic role in that movie. Makes me think a little bit different about him. Here's one I want on Criterion for sure. This is called The Way Back, and this is based on true events. I watched this movie twice. I thought it was fantastic. On here, I'll just read the back to you guys a little bit. This one has some uh, a pretty good cast in it, too. You have Ed Harris, Jim Sturgis, um, Colin Farrell, and Peter Weir. And it's um, it says they st in Bruges, they star in an epic saga of survival from six-time Oscar nominee Peter Weir. Okay. Inspired by an incredible true story, the way back begins in 1940 when seven prisoners attempt the impossible to escape from the brutal Siberian gulag. So these guys are all in prison in Siberia where it's like snow and blowing and below zero. And that's how the movie starts out. Thus begins a treacherous 4,500 mile trek to freedom across the world's most merciless landscapes. And it really does have some phenomenal imagery in this film. There's some really good photography and it's just, it's breathtaking. It's mind blowing this movie. You guys have to watch this movie. They have little food and few supplies. They don't know or trust each other, but together they must with, withstand, they must withstand nature at its most extreme. Their humanity is further tested when they meet a teenage runaway who begs to join them on their quest. A compelling testament to the human spirit, this gripping wilderness adventure is Peter Ware at his hypnotic best. And I'm telling you guys, there are some scenes in this film that will blow your mind, and I'm not going to give anything away. But they have to go 4,500 miles away from the uh, prison that they're in, and they got to go across... I mean, that's a lot of uh, miles to to uh, travel. So you're going over all different kinds of terrains in, in the meantime. And uh, this is from Image Entertainment. And this would look awesome on Criterion. Put it in a digipack. Even if you put it in one of those thick clear cases, give it a nice thick booklet. This, this is a great movie. So please, guys, if you have not seen this one, check it out. This one here, I would not mind seeing Twilight Time pick up. This is a Ray Harryhausen film called Jason and the Argonauts. And for all I know, maybe they have the plans to pick this up. But they already have a couple Harryhausen uh, films, which I own. And I'd like to see this one get a TT release. This one right now, is a, it's a Sony release and it's a all region. But this would definitely be better off if it was Criterion or Twilight Time, pick this up. Or even Arrow Video. And then put maybe put some special features on there. So, Jason and Argonauts uh, Twilight Time would be my first choice, and then Criterion second for that one. Then we have another Tim Burton, and this is 9, and I think this is Criterion worthy. Criterion doesn't have too many animated shows. This was definitely worth being one of them, my opinion. I think the animation in this movie is stunning. I, I think the story is fantastic. I, I love everything about this movie. I really enjoy Tim Burton's works. And here, we just have a plain disc, no artwork, no booklet. Uh, it deserves way more than this, so... That is um, criterion worthy for me. That's nine. I have two more here, and then I'm going to cut it off. Um, the next one up is Hoosiers, and everybody loves this movie. Everybody's seen it. 
there's not really much to say. It's one of the best uh, coming of age movies, one of the best uh, basketball movies you'll ever see. And it just um, it just seems like it needs a better treatment, you know, than what it's got here. I do like that they came up with some new artwork now for this new fancy artwork. This was a Walmart exclusive last year or the year before. But this is an MGM release. It just needs something better. Here you got a half-ass cover art because half of it's covered up by words and a banner down here. And then you got a little picture, so that's kind of weak. And then you got a, uh, a very, very flimsy eco case, which uh, that's garbage. You know, this movie deserves way better than that. I would like to see this get a um, a digi pack. That's what I would like to see this movie get a nice digi pack release. And all this is is just like a little plate that sits in the front up there. So that is Hoosiers, and that definitely should get a Criterion release. And then my last one for today is called The Fall. And many of you, I'm sure many of you have not seen this movie. Probably most of you have not seen this movie or haven't even heard about it. But this is one of the one of these kind of films. It's another adventure type film. And it's just, uh, it's bursting with different colors and scenes and everything is just beautiful. Here, I'm going to read a little bit about this to you. It says it was filmed over a period of four years in 18 different countries. Tarsum's The Fall is an unforgettable movie experience. In 1920s Los Angeles, Alexandria, a five-year-old girl hospitalized from a fall, strikes up an unlucky, unlikely friendship with Roy, a Hollywood stuntman shattered by a near-fatal movie set accident and his lover's betrayal. To pass the time, he tells Alexandria the epic story of a governor odious and the five remarkable heroes determined to defeat him. A dazzling world of magic and myth. Only when the line between reality and fantasy begins to dissolve does Alexandria realize how much is truly at stake. Presented by David Fincher and Spike Jones, The Fall is an awe-inspiring cinematic tour de force. So this is definitely criterion worthy and I've always thought that matter of fact the first time I put this in and watched it I was thinking it was criterion worthy so I'm gonna give you guys my little viewing here and I'll kind of show you how I'm gonna rank these so I would say I would like to see criterion pick this one up first the way back the Big Fish, second. The Fall, third. White Squall, fourth. The Gray, fifth. Nine, sixth. Hoosier, seventh. And then I would like to see Twilight Time pick up Jason and the Argonauts. So Christopher Walker, my friend, I hope this was, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this is what you wanted to me to do. If, um, if there was something else you wanted me to show you, um, let me know. Hopefully this was sufficient, unless maybe you were thinking of a different way to do this. And just leave me a note in the uh, comments below. And I'll be happy to uh, redo it if you'd, like, if you'd like me to. And um, other than that, I'm going to leave Chris's link below. I want you guys to go give him a sub. He's a younger fella here on the uh, YouTube community. I want you guys to embrace him. I want you to befriend him. Give him some subs so we can all get strong together as a community here. And uh, he does have some really good content on his channel. And I, I, I see he makes a couple of videos a week at least. <clears throat> In my opinion, every video he makes is getting better and better. And they were already pretty good when I first started watching him. So you know, he's really putting out some good content. So really, guys, I want you to please take a moment and go sub him. I'm going to leave his link below. Other than that, guys, if you have any questions for me, comments, leave them below. Give it a thumbs up. Sub if you haven't. And I will catch you guys next time. And thank you very much for watching. Oh, and if you have some other um, suggestions, what movies you think you'd like Criterion to pick up, or Twilight Time, or whatever company, either um, leave, the, uh, leave the names of the films down below or do a um, VR for this. You know, Do a video response. So, all right, guys, take care.